Well, hello, Bob Dendry here and welcome back to City Skylines, where we are building the town of Lorikeet Valley. So last episode, we started on the uh, University of Lorikeet Valley. Um, it turned out pretty all right. Uh, as you can see, we've got some worker problems and we have massive uh, <laughs> demand for residential, which we didn't have like literally two minutes ago when I was just looking around the map. So we'll need to look at taking care of that. Um, but in this episode, what I really wanted to do was focus on uh, one, building a, a little sort of uh, regional shopping center for our Sims, two, getting down some further retail and maybe doing something a little bit more interesting than we've done recently, and three, just doing a little bit of general detailing and optimization of what we've built so far. So let's jump in and get started with our commercial build. And I've identified we've got a little parcel of land here that probably would be good for a little sort of a, what you might call like a homemaker center or something like that, where we have some sort of big box retail type stores um, to, I guess, to uh, give the residents somewhere to buy their, you know, appliances, go get some hardware, etc., depending on what they need. So, first of all, I want to just have a look and see how the topography looks in this area. And it took an embarrassingly long amount of time to uh, find that button. So it's it's not looking too bad. We, we've got something we can definitely work with here and we can definitely flatten it out pretty well based on um, um, what I'm seeing here. So we'll just do a little bit of uh, flattening to start with. So we might level it out based on the level of our rail line and see how that turns out. So it's not too bad if we just smoothie smoothie it a little bit. That's a lot of smoothie smoothie actually, probably don't need to be that smoothing. Just along sort of the edges to get rid of the, uh, the cliff textures. Yeah, and I think that's a really solid base that we can build on. So first of all, let's get an entrance built. We are going to use a roundabout again um, because we love roundabouts in Australia. So just delete a little bit of Shirley Street. We might in fact just delete the whole sort of thing up to Ashland Williams Road. And we can also take that opportunity to do a little bit more smoothing. So we'll get a nice sort of pad here. We'll have a nice flat roundabout and we can sort of gradually uh, go down to uh, Birdsong Way there. This one is probably going to be a, I'm thinking just back to our sort of standard 10. That's definitely not 10, is it? Something, something funky here. It's 11. <laughs> Let's try that again. Much better. Okay, um, yeah, that was a bit embarrassing, but we fixed it up, so we'll just build our nice roundabout here using our curved road tool and our road guidelines. Perfect, that looks pretty nice. And we'll just reconnect our uh, roads here. What I might do is just take this down a little bit, which should uh, 
make it a little bit easier of a uh, connection to make. Perfect. Alrighty. And from here we're going to have a nice the connection into the uh, main part of our uh, homemaker center. We'll use a avenue, sort of a wider road, but we'll actually use it um, just a two lane road, but a wide one. I think these look really cool and I don't use them enough in my builds, to be completely honest. Um, but like, these look nice. We've got some bottle bus brush, I should say, trees in the middle as well. So that is pretty cool. And now we need to plan out what uh, retail we're going to have in here. So I'm just going to open up, find it, and we'll just have a look. As you, as you can see here, I've actually gone through and picked up the rest of the, uh, the big parking lot um, assets that I missed out on in the last episode. So we'll be uh, fixing up the university build with those as well. I think we've got a Bunnings warehouse here. It's a, a large sort of hardware store. We're just going to place that there for the moment. Um, just, in fact, we might sort of place these down and just move them out. Just so you can see, I guess, what we're working with. We've got Bunnings warehouse. I have sausage sizzles and, in fact... <laughs> I've, I've never noticed that in using that asset that you've actually got your sausage sizzles set up here, um, which is cool. So if you're unfamiliar, they do sort of charity sausage sizzles like pretty much every weekend out the front and like different charities um, can do the sausage sizzle pretty much. And they get, uh, I assume, all the proceeds or at least all the profit. Um, and, and that's that's sort of a, an Australian um, tradition is getting a bunning sausage. What else do we have here? Definitely got an Ikea, I'm pretty sure. In fact, we've got a couple. That's a tiny Ikea. Yep, that's more like it. We have Ikea in Australia. We don't have heaps of them, but um, most of my furniture is Ikea, to be honest. Um, interestingly, this doesn't have any signs. Which is a bit weird. I don't know if maybe... I'm missing an asset or something like that. What else do we have that we could use? Uh, I think I've got a Costco. But I don't know if we'll use that in this build. Alrighty, so let's get placing. So I'm going to get a couple of parking lots. Um, sort of on either side of this boulevard here. And then we'll... Um, Sort of be the parking lots that belong to each of our uh, shops, I would think. Let's have a look. I mean, this is actually going to be quite pokey, isn't it? We I mean, definitely get our IKEA in there. Might actually need to shift this around about over a little bit um, so we can fit the Bunnings in over here. That's a bit better. Um, you don't usually have a, a uh, supermarket in one of these, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. What I might do is move the supermarket right up to the road there, and then we can have a shopping uh, parking lot sort of to the side of it. Well, let's get started on building the parking lots. Let's try that one again. Okay. 
It's nice. I think we need to have an even number to to use the um, parking spaces correctly. I think we might shift this a little bit um, just to sort of get it a little bit straighter with the uh, <laughs> uh, let's undo that curve it around okay that's probably a little bit better Drive. And one going onto the other side for the uh, bullies. Um, other thing we want to do is just get some uh, roads going around the back here as well to access the uh, the loading docks. I think this doesn't have a, actually have a loading dock on the model, but I'm going to assume that there would be a loading dock back here. We might use this so it's a little bit straighter. We just have to fill in our parking. It's much easier when we've got these uh, <laughs> the the big ones. So that is good. Curves are facing the wrong way here, so we'll need to fix that up. Guess we need to use a uh, drive road here. Right. Yeah. A filler, maybe.
don't know if this makes any sense, but <laughs> I'm gonna do it. That looks very silly. Uh, actually, it's not. It's not that bad. It's not going that great for me, to be honest. This is going swimmingly. <laughs> What is happening? I don't remember turning notes snapping off, but I suppose it makes sense. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's the issue, that little bastard. Could be worse. Okay, let's try all of this again. I wonder if we turn off zoning on these roads, not that one, on these roads, if it will make it easier to uh, place down the uh, parking lots.
The answer to that is a resounding yes, surprisingly. I actually did something smart. Now we're just going to shift these nodes a little bit. Yeah. Perfect. Don't know what's happening with that one there. Bit weird. Are they not connected, potentially? Uh, possibly. Oh, come on. Just one more. <laughs> nice. Okay. And from there, we need to sort of change the orientation of the car park to go this way. Which should be fine with a filler. So we'll create a filler here. Lovely. Just need to do a little tiny bit of cleaning up. Alright, so we've got our shopping for Bunnings and Ikea. I'm just going to get a, just a small uh, lot over here for the small little woolies we've got. should be all right. All right, so we've got a little car park set up for Woolies as well. I think you might actually rotate this around if it'll fit, yeah. I think that probably makes a little bit more sense than how it was set up before. And once again, Woolies doesn't- actually Woolies does have- it's got a little tiny loading dock there, so we'll use a dry road. Um, just to get a loading dock set up there. Okay, so we've got a lot of room for some, um, some landscaping and stuff like that. Ooh. Okay. Can we fix that? Not really. Is that because... Yeah. Okay, that's a bit better. 
So what we might do is put a, a little bit of um, just regular zoned retail in sort of some of these gaps here. Which I'm going to do now. Nothing facing onto our uh, loading docks though. To keep things a little bit safe. Perfect. I'll get our building spawn points sorted out while we're here as well. Um, so we will... Do we have any signs? Let's have a look. Don't think we do, actually. That might be something we need to look at adding on. Because we definitely need some signage. Nope, doesn't look like we do, but that's all right. It's fine. So we're just going to use a little bit of Surface Painter. Just go single. And just uh, get these all squared away. Perfect. And anything else need fixing? Probably do this bit here as well. All right, and now it's time to do a bit of landscaping. Alrighty, and we should probably unpause now. So hopefully, oh yes, we need water as well. <laughs> That's okay, we've got a water pipe nice and close there, which is good. And we should be all sorted. Except we actually need some more water. So probably a water tank is in order. I wonder if we can just pop that one right there. Let's do it. How's it going to go? Is it going to get power? It's not going to get power, but that is okay. We might get a little, uh, little substation there, which will serve as well with power there. Perfect. Excellent. All right. So, got our lovely shopping center starting up here. We've got Ikea, we've got Woolies, we've got Bunnings Warehouse. And um, hopefully we should start to get some workers. We already are getting a few. Ikea definitely does not have that many workers. So let's have a look at fixing that. <laughs> I reckon like 100 max would be working there. Obviously that's including like customer service, warehouse jobs as well, and again, Bunnings, I reckon that'd be even less, that'd be like 50. Oh, hang on. Okay, much better, much better. Got 
gosh, we've got big worker problems, and I mean, that's pretty obvious that we're going to, because we've got high demand for residential, and we haven't built any residential in a while. But now's probably a good, a good time for us to look at a new residential project. And I think we've got some opportunity sort of here to utilize this uh, this little patch of land we've got, um, nice and close to the highway, close to amenities as well. Um, and we can probably do something with that. So what we might do, let's get a brand new neighborhood painted down here. And we're going to go a little sort of bespoke um, little development here. We're going to call this Green Hills, but we're going to make it one word. Green Hills is a uh, town slash suburb in New South Wales, so that makes sense. And let's design a little neighborhood here, I think. So luckily we do have a roundabout here that we can use as the one of the entries to the neighborhood. So we're going to probably get a nice green road. And this one's going to be not quite as gritty as um, our previous neighbourhoods. So we're going to have this as a, a bit of a, a loop. Um, ooh. <laughs> ooh. Um, what I might do is just move the uh, power lines a little bit so they're not in the way. So probably over there makes sense. And I'm going to use a network multi-tool to uh, auto-slope. And again, I'm having the percentages are not showing up, which is weird. I'll take it a little bit further. Okay. Let's try and get this area flattened out. We'll soften the terrain. Okay, so I've got something very specific in mind about what I wanted to do with this neighborhood, which um, hopefully hopefully turns out all right, to be honest. Um, but I'm just going to play with it and hopefully we get somewhere nice. We're going to have very specific um, sort of block sizes here, which might be a bit strange, but I promise there's method to my madness here. So... Okay, so we've got some very strange gridding happening here. Um, it's not worked fantastically with the topography either, but we should be able to uh, smoothie smoothie it out a little bit there, I think. Um, first of all, I'm just going to go through network multi-tool and uh, just... Oops. Okay, so I was having a playing around and I've decided I actually might just plop some uh, buildings down. Um, I'm not sure why they're not placing by default, because I've got them in a theme, and a theme is applied to this district. But I really like these, uh, these little townhouses. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is have a little node of our sort of medium density residential, um, as this would be. And um, yeah, I think it looks really nice.
All right, so we've got this little node now of all sort of townhouses, sort of low to medium uh, density residential, which might seem weird, but there are a few places around Sydney that do have this sort of setup. And I'm thinking of an area like Wentworth Point, um, which I have lived in before, which has sort of two distinct halves, one that has quite reasonably high rise and another that's sort of medium density, sort of low rise low rise high density sort of stuff um, and we're going to do green hills a little bit like this i'm going to put a few sort of taller condo type buildings in here um, which should help to um, once again satisfy some of that residential demand and also hopefully will be a little bit interesting to look at looks like we've got some uh, some land value issues here which i mean probably makes sense we don't have really any services in this area so what i might do is take a quick break from uh, plopping buildings and place some services down as well so let's have a look how we're looking for medical um so we're pretty good for medical but we could probably do with a, a medical center in this area here um, and i'm thinking or even over sort of in our um homemaker center makes sense for it for it to be uh yeah, might actually, might actually put one on um, right here. I think that makes sense. So that should hopefully give some coverage to this area here. In terms of fire, we definitely need some fire coverage. We're looking pretty bad. Um, so I might get one over in this res, uh, this uh, industrial area. Police, police is good right now. If we look at education, um, elementary school, we could probably do with some coverage. High school's all right. And university, we're fine, obviously. So I might just pop in a elementary school in this area. Um, we don't necessarily need one, um, but it hopefully will just help with this, uh, this land value issue we're having here. I can see already it looks like uh, most of those have now popped off. We've just got this one remaining here. In terms of a park, I think a dog park is probably going to be a good idea here. I remember when I lived in, in an area like this, um, people were crying out for dog parks and the council didn't seem to get that. So we'll help out the residents here. We'll get a little dog park down. Um, also, we'll fix this yuckiness here as well. Okay, that looks a little bit better. All right, so we're going to get some, some larger buildings down now as well. And I th we've got this, which is a quite a tall sort of condo type building, which actually fits perfectly in the space we have. So I think that's a-okay there. Um, I'm going to do some quick moving. What we actually might do is just level this block off, I think. Okay. That looks really nice. I like that. Uh, you also need to have your height fixed. Yeah, it still needs to be higher. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, oh, hello. And how many households do we have here? Yeah, that seems about right. 164. <laughs> and what else do we have that we can play with?
Okay, that was actually a bit of a challenge um, getting this all working, um, but I think it looks okay. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to get a nice little green belt uh, sort of alongside Shirley Street to sort of mask the commercial usage from impacting on the residents, hopefully. And yeah, we will um, do some beautifying here and then we'll probably do some detailing around the rest of the city. So that's going to be about it for this episode. So we've made a bit of progress. Our residential demand is still massive, um, but we have, you know, raised our population by quite a bit, which is excellent. Uh, places in good stead to continue in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device when I next post a video. Links to my social media are in the description. So please get on there, like, um, you know, follow Discord's there as well. So jump on if you want to have a chat. I'm always happy to have a chat. And until next time, my name's Bob Dendry. This is City Skylines. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.